what we've tried to do this year is to take the content of the conference beyond the technical coding and take it into the two other themes of the conference, which is the business elements and the team. I think it's very focused on practical advice. There's a heavy emphasis on techniques and practices that people can take away and use in their own organisations, whether those are startups or more experienced companies. There's lots of startup businesses here at the conference today that are grasping little nuggets about Agile and have worked out that actually this is how we need to be working. So we want to be able to group a bunch of those businesses together who can say, do you know what, let's learn from each other, let's get some of the practitioners down that can take us from grassroots up and we can do some real learning and then go and apply that to our business. Cornwall has a fantastic community of developers. You know, the software industry is really passionate about what it does. And what happens at the conference is we get a lot of people coming in from all parts of the world. And through that door is an amazing mix of people from all different areas of software, some of the most experienced people in the world. So what's been great for me about the conference is seeing other companies that are using the whole agile approach, not just in IT development, but in other areas, and how they've used that to grow their businesses. So learning from them, seeing what they can do, applying that to other companies that we're working with, I think will be a really positive thing for the future. I didn't realise it's quite diverse and it's now actually looking at team building and business plans and you can take it and apply it to your team so it's really applicable. So I think it's definitely a conference that could appeal to quite a few different sectors. There's a very interesting dynamic here. The majority of the delegates, though by no means all of them, are from local Cornish companies and they're quite knit and a lot of the speakers are coming from outside Cornwall. The conversations, the explorations that are going on between two very tight-knit communities, it, it, it's just fascinating. Quite often you go to events and it's quite technically themed, so I think it's quite nice to see here people taking more of a holistic slant on things. It seems like there's a lot of people from the local area, lots of businesses starting up, adopting these techniques, so they're all here at the conference. It's fantastic just to be able to see that there's so many technology professionals continuing to grow in their trade. As that grows, to be able to work and contribute to the community, it's going to improve the economy, of course. The university here is fantastic as a support vehicle. And just in general, the idea of agility should be extended across not just software and technology companies, but it should be actually extended to other companies. They can all benefit from the kind of agile and lean principles we talk about, which are very collaborative, very effective at finding out what the customer needs are and uh, delivering that appropriately. One of the things that we've tried to do with the whole conference is provide plenty of space for people to talk outside the formal sessions. Not on many conferences, let alone actual conferences, where there's a beach party. There was a real buzz at the beach party last night. Lots of conversations going on, people very relaxed, talking about the subject from the conference. So the beach is, is one thing to make it special. After such a long day, people want to let their hair down a little bit. And it's a great way of then allowing people to network in a slightly different environment. And, you know, we've had really good feedback. People really remember it as well. It's just really nice and relaxed. The setting's really beautiful. It's kind of starts thought processes off, you know, seeing something more than just the inside of a big anonymous conference building. So, you know, for your creativity, it's a really nice way to break the days up and re-energise yourself the next day. I've really enjoyed a lot of the other presentations, especially hearing from people who work in different fields and different industries, gleaning some really helpful information about how they employ Agile. The calibre of the practitioners that come down and present is very, very high. The value of getting all the practitioners means that actually, even after the conference, people can keep in touch, can collaborate, come back down, talk through stuff again and, and get going. One of the key things is it's a small conference. So you get much better community spirit and conversations. People are much more approachable. The, the networking happens freely. You don't have to design it. Um, people naturally bump into one another over coffee. They're more likely to raise questions during talks, follow up with you. So you're actually going to get a sort of meaningful conversation going. It's also not a commercially structured conference in the sense that it's not a product conference. Uh, it's a how do we do things kind of conference, which is also an invitation to conversation. One of the things that I'm going to take away today is to get your process right. You know, work out the process of doing things well and then decide to do the right thing. That's very much an agile approach and methodology and it's certainly one that I'm going to take away to be able to work with my people, work through the process of doing things well and doing it right.